What's up, guys? Welcome to Mary with After Dark. I'm one of your co-hosts, Ashlyn Jess. I'm supposed to have my partner, Erin Kane, but she seems to be running about 10 minutes late, so you guys are stuck with me for now. But hopefully she gets here on time because that way the show will be a little funnier and we'll be able to accomplish our goal of keeping you entertained for the next 30 minutes. Oh man, I'm gonna be so late to the first shoot. Okay, all right, let me think. The fastest way to get to Marywood. Uh, I could do this. So I've checked all my wrists and no watch, so I'm assuming Erin is still late. So I'm not really sure where she is. We'll see what's up in a little bit. Well, I'm already gonna be 10 minutes late. Might as well get a coffee while I'm at it. Christian, what should I do about Erin, I have no idea where she is and nobody else seems to know. No one can get a hold of her. And, oh my God. He's eating my cheese bits. Guys, he's eating my cheese bits. Can Maybe we should call Nicola. Wow. Brilliant idea. Why didn't I Four of them. think of that? Hi, can I get a small caramelized coffee with cream and liquid sugar? Sure, anything else? Yeah, I'll get a chocolate frosted donut with sprinkles. Sure, would that be all? Yeah, that's it. Okay, thanks. You're so annoying sometimes. Hey, do you know where Aaron is by any chance? Can't say that I do. Oh my goodness, she hasn't shown up for the show yet. She's like 10 minutes late. I literally started without her. I'm running really late to a shoot right now. I'm already 10 minutes late, yeah. Yeah, I know, I gotta get there. All right, thanks. Oh my god. I mean, right now that seems like the best option, but I can't do that. She's my co-host. Clearly unprofessional. Christian says unprofessional. And I'm also not funny by myself. Hmm. That's going to make things real awkward for me if I have to deal with this in a disciplinary fashion. Oh my goodness, I forgot. Uh, don't worry. If, if worse comes to worst, I will fire her for you. Okay. I know I'm in the wrong territory, but... I, I'm hosting a show on TV Marywood called Marywood After Dark. Go give it a... I, I'm hosting a show on TV Marywood? No. It's okay. I'm Aaron though. Yeah. All right. Thank you for no help, Nicolo. Okay. Uh, I'm only 10 minutes late. All right. Perfect. Uh, I can make it. Phone, Quavo glasses. Max, I'm so sorry I'm running late. I promise it won't happen again. I already have the mic on. We're good. We can start. We well, it's about this. time you showed up. I've been doing this show for the past 10 minutes by myself. Okay. It's probably been like 90% commercials for this poor audience. Okay, I'm sorry. It won't happen again, I promise. And we are going to have a great show tonight. I swear. I swear it won't happen again. Now that Aaron finally made it back, we can officially start the show. Tonight we have Antonio Seco and Maddie Dash is on the show. Antonio is an architecture major from Scranton, Pennsylvania, and Maddie is an interior architecture major from Monroe, New York. We'll be back with Antonio and Maddie next. Stay tuned, guys. You've messed up your son's haircut. Mom? Mm -hmm. Do you A, try to fix it? Like it never happened. B, work with what you've got. Or C, show solidarity. Thank you, baby. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. This is the story of a boy who was very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where nothing could get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. It made him feel uncomfortable. One day, he found out he had something called autism. His family got him help. And slowly, he learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at autismspeaks.org.
They said I have troll teeth. That my voice sounded like a possessed baby doll. That no one would ever love someone as stupid as me. That I was fat. Ugly. Disgusting. The effect of bullying is potent. We will no longer be the silent majority. Now, when you see online bullying, there's something you can do about it. We're gonna take action with the eye. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness, and so are you. It's a short ride from your neighborhood to your naturehood. To find a neighborhood park or green space near you, visit discovertheforest.org. Welcome back to Marywood After Dark. I'm Erin Kane. And I'm Ashlyn Jess. Thanks for joining us tonight. We are pleased to welcome our very first guests, Antonio Seco and Maddie Dashes. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. Welcome to our show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll just get right into it. Why did you guys decide to choose Marywood University? Do you want me to go first? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I was looking at Marywood for both soccer and like uh, some place that had like a really good interior architecture program. So this was I was like looking at bigger schools at first, and I came here and just felt like super oddly at home and like safe and secure and everything. So that's pretty much why I came here. Okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah. And for me, my mom's a Marywood alumni. So of course she pushed Marywood like super hard, but uh, so I was looking at like didn't really know what I wanted to do for college or like for a major. So she'd known I had interest in architecture, so she's like Marywood has a really good architecture program. You should go see Marywood on the campus. So I came here with like not the greatest of hopes <laughs> or expectations, but then after like being on campus, meeting a lot of people, even like at um, like like the open house, and then going to the architecture building was just like I knew that like Marywood was just like the place for me. Nice. So what made you decide to be an architecture and an interior architecture major? Um, okay, <laughs> I'll start. Um, so in high school, I was like super into like math and also the art side of everything. Like we had a bunch of art programs. I always loved like drawing and painting and everything like that and kind of wanted a balance in between the two. And I, I was like kind of looking at architecture at first, but then switched into interior just because I liked the control and like the idea of adaptive reuse and stuff like that. So I felt like that had a nice balance between like, you know, the science-y math stuff and like the art world, I guess. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then uh, for me, uh, my parents built a house in 2005 and um, I was always at like the construction site with my parents and I got to like meet the architect and like see a lot of the blueprints and different things like that. So I kind of expressed a little bit of interest. And then in high school, my high school offered uh, drafting classes. Mm -hmm. So I took drafting for a couple years and then um, was really like looking at different architecture schools and came here. And after like speaking to like uh, Dean Hunt at the time and uh, James Eckler, just that really was what turned me on to like Marywood as an architecture mm -hmm. school and architecture itself, so. Nice. Yeah. And like, so when I think of like architecture people, I think you guys are like, you're like you guys always seem so tired and working. You're working so hard, and you guys are always like, so like, tell me about your life as an architecture major. Like, what, what like, what's it like involved in the major? <laughs> we were actually just talking about this a little bit ago. We were saying like, oh yeah, I can't wait to be up in the building until like super late. And I was like, I literally went to bed at like six a.m. last night, oh, like yeah. doing yeah. work to like make up for stuff. I think it's like everybody in the building, I think, can agree with this. It's like, you're never really off the clock mm -hmm. when it, like, you're always yeah. thinking about it. You're always working towards, like, you know, that final product yeah. for everything. There's so. a lot of play, though, too. Yeah, there like, is. They, <laughs> say, they say that it's, like, half work, half play, but everybody has their own, like, work ethic and different things like that. But, like, um, yeah, I don't know. Just The building yeah. gets, like, yeah. kind of weird later at night, too. It's, yeah. like... People are having like rolly chair like <laughs> races throughout the building yeah, and stuff. So okay, yeah, yeah. yeah I say like, like I always say like I go crazy at like two o'clock every day. Yeah, because like down here, we're just, like we're down here all the time. So yeah. I go crazy. So I can only imagine like yeah. you guys are like working on like these amazing yeah. projects. So yeah. We're always, gets, yeah, we're always told to go home. Like they're like go home after one because nothing good happens after one a.m. Yeah. and like people usually like cut their fingers and stuff at that time. So like, yeah. but if you're <laughs> if you're working diligently, you can get all your stuff done and just. 
Yeah. At, at a lot of times, it's a lot of work, and like unlike other majors, it's not like really <laughs> studying for anything specifically, rather than just like a project objective to like get to to get yeah. the end of it and like move forward for the next day. And it's all like what you produce is what you get out. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. A bunch of my friends who are architects, they always tell us about the hammocks that yep. are there. They're like, <laughs> oh you yeah. take so many naps in the hammocks. Like that's probably the best yeah. part about the yeah. building. We had like an <laughs> ongoing yeah. joke freshman year, like with our one friend Tanner, would be like, oh, if you can't find him, he's probably asleep in the hammock up in the rafters yeah. or something. <laughs> like just yeah, go look yeah. for him. So. Nice. Mm -hmm. So what is the hardest yet most rewarding part of your major? Um, I think maybe final crit week in it, like for me at least, like in itself, because it's like the final push to just get everything absolutely perfect and like pristine, like produced mm -hmm. for like that final review. And it's like some things are half done, like some things you haven't started yet, but it's like that whole week is just like a lot of coffee, like not sleeping, but then once everything's finally like pinned up and done and everything, it's like you can finally breathe and just look at it and be like, nice, <laughs> like that was worth it. <laughs> yeah, I would have to agree with like Maddie with that, like that whole final crit week is definitely like the culmination of your whole project. So like mm -hmm. that vision you saw from the very beginning, you get to finally like show after all the process work and iterations and then you finally get to like this grand project and even if it's like some critics find it like not fully cooked like you're like this is my project and like you're very passionate about it and like that's probably the most rewarding thing like in architecture school and then like in life just architecture in general like maybe being able to work on a design project with something that actually is like built and like comes to fruition is even like a greater thing yeah. nice. um so Antonio, I have a question for you. You went okay. to you studied abroad, right? Yeah, so did Maddie. Oh, you both studied abroad yeah. in Italy. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> oh, how was that? <laughs> so I just recently came back, so it's like, so it's like even more fresh. But Maddie's starting to feel like it's a year ago. Like mm -hmm. it's more like, but um, it was amazing experience that even um, Marywood itself like offers mm -hmm. as like being able to study abroad. Like they have the partnership with the university over there, the ISI Florence, yeah. and just being able to study architecture there specifically was amazing because where else than like the Renaissance Florence like yeah, yeah. with That's like the true. Duomo and all these different artists and architects that have come through our Florence and just like being over there and getting to also like have the opportunities like while being abroad it's easier to travel to like foreign countries and different things like that yeah. where like yeah, cause here it's so close yeah here mm -hmm. it's like you want to go to Florida and it's like that's way further than like going to Paris for a weekend yeah. when being abroad <laughs> so it's like crazy with that aspect but no it was definitely like an amazing experience for both like work and play all right I'm gonna cut you off Maddie before you get to go but we have to take a short break but coming up we have more questions for Maddie and Antonio. <laughs> It's a short ride from your neighborhood to your naturehood. To find a neighborhood park or green space near you, visit discovertheforest.org. So who's going to do what? I'll pack the dead batteries. Great. I'll only put what I don't need into a duffel bag. Perfect. That's totally unhelpful. No problem. Meanwhile, I will try to comfort everyone by speaking in a calm voice. And who is going to handle supplies? I can forget to do a list for us. Thanks, pal. We couldn't be any less prepared. I'm proud of you guys. Talk to your kids about who to call, where to meet, what to pack. Visit ready.gov slash kids for tips and information. Alvin and the Chipmunks want to remind you, bacteria can hide in food and make you ill. Wow. But you can keep bacteria from ruining your day with four simple steps. Clean. I'm waiting for the ring cycle. Separate. <laughs> And chill. We chipmunks are notoriously tidy. Check your steps. The road trip to food safety starts at foodsafety.gov. placement and training for people in your community, which means your stuff can be more powerful than you think. 
Goodwill. Donate stuff, create jobs. Welcome back. We are joined here with our guest, Antonio and Maddie. Hi, guys. Hello. <laughs> All right, so before, before we took the break, we were talking about uh, you guys studied abroad in Italy, which mm -hmm. I knew Antonio did. I had no idea you did. That's so cool. Okay, so tell me about your experience in yeah, Italy. Yeah, so and I left last spring, so this time last year I was abroad and really just so, like, <laughs> oh, God, it's, like, bittersweet now. But, like, I didn't even see him for, like, almost a whole year because oh, yeah. he went abroad in the fall and, like, everything like that. So, like coming back and seeing everyone it was so weird but being there it was like you're completely immersed like in everything I think my favorite thing about it was like like we were talking about a little bit before like seeing all the things like in the old textbooks and stuff mm -hmm. even from like when you're little like you <coughs> know we went to and see like the Acropolis like in Greece I know I got to see which was like whoa if you're yeah. into Greek <laughs> mythology that was like the biggest thing in the world you know like yeah, yeah. so I think just seeing all of that and like also I hated tomatoes before <laughs> I went abroad and I tried them in Italy and they tasted like candy. So <laughs> really? That's cool. Yeah. That's <laughs> so well, Italian candy. tomatoes are just better than yeah, American tomatoes. Yeah, if you go to Italy, just eat tomatoes. There's tomatoes? All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a big fan of tomatoes, but I guess I'll go to Italy and try some. Yeah. Uh, my you guys put that on our bucket list yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we're going to like kind of switch, switch it over. up we're and kind of go into more <laughs> comedy based okay. questions, yeah. I guess you could say. So I'm going to start off with, if you could be the member of any American TV sitcom family, which family would you be a part of and where would you like interject yourself like, into their family? <sighs> um, do, you, do you know? I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. um, like I would like, I mean, I know this isn't really like a family, but I think it'd be cool to be like on The Office or something. Yeah, I was just going to say, it's not really a family, but like I'd love to like work in The Office. Yeah, like, that'd be under cool. Under Scott. And yeah. yeah, or like <laughs> friends. Could I be like mm -hmm. Monica's yeah. sister? Yeah. <laughs> and a third For like sure. child yeah, to that family. Yeah, exactly. I'd love to be involved in cool. How I Met Your Mother. That'd be just yeah, that'd be cool. In some way, I don't know. But it'd be funny to be a part of Family Guy, though, too. Yeah. <laughs> that'd totally be really funny. Oh, in cartoon Or like yeah. Full House, even. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. one of true. the daughters there. Because I be like, can't imagine doing anything special yeah. even <laughs> in like, that house, yeah. pretty much. And all three are so different. It's right. like hearing yeah. three completely different aspects what, what, of what's what, going on. What would you do? What show would you be a part of? Me? I don't know. I was thinking like the Brady Bunch. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. That's like old school, but I think it'd yeah. be kind of cool to like be thrown in there with all those siblings. All right. So let's see. All right. So this is a would you rather. Would you rather be without elbows or knees? Um, I would say without knees because <laughs> it's just yeah. caused a lot of problems for me. You don't lick <laughs> your knees or something? No, I've had like so many knee surgeries, oh, okay. so I'm just like oh, get rid of them that, at this yeah. point. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't need them anymore. I would have to say knees because even though I love like running and other activities <laughs> you need your <laughs> knees for, but like also architecture is my passion, so without elbows that would be yeah, that'd be a little pretty little impossible. Little difficult. You know what I just thought of? Yeah. Antonio played that. soccer in high school and she played soccer. We are so good at this. <laughs> oh <my goodness. laughs> and they yeah. both studied abroad. Oh, I played soccer in Italy, too. Was you on did? The, on the university team, yeah. How was that? It was really fun. It was really, like, Was awesome. it hard? It was like, so rough. Yeah, it was, <laughs> like, it was, like, in a tournament there, and, yeah, it was. It's not, like, West Grant and softball, I bet. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. Softball? No, no. Uh, soccer. I, know I we played switching softball. sports yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just, softball's always on the mind, I guess. <laughs> Go oh, my <laughs> goodness. So, if you could wish anything on anybody, who would you wish it on? And what would like you wish upon? If that makes any sense. Oh my God. Good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> However you interpret the question. Um, oh my God, I don't know. Hmm. Do you have like an example that you were thinking I would wish of? everyone had a billion dollars. That would cause a lot of controversy. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> <the deficit. laughs> All right, I don't right. know, but you could do that. Like, you could wish, like, if you know somebody who's blind, like, you could yeah. wish them the ability to see. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, like that, yeah. something like that. Or, I don't know, if you don't like somebody. Hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think I would maybe wish something, like, for all the millionaires to live, like, the homeless, and then the homeless to live, like, the millionaires, just for mm. a day. Oh, it's like that's a role reversal type. That'd be yeah. interesting. Yeah. I think that put a lot of people in like some perspective. Maybe. That's like a good movie. <laughs> yeah, that's a good movie. Oh. Oh. All right. Well, there wow. you go. We gotta think of that. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for this. <laughs> Can we use that? Yeah, go for okay. it. Okay. <laughs> um, here's one of my questions: Is cereal soup? Mm. <laughs> 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 okay, so All I right. don't eat my cereal with 
like milk or liquid of any sort. So I eat my cereal dry. Okay. So weird. I don't think it is, but if you eat your cereal with milk. I think if your cereal's soggy, it could be considered soup. Okay. Mm. That makes sense. I'm gonna say no. I usually soup is hot. That's what I was thinking. Is there yeah. a cold soup? Well, isn't gazpacho? Oh, true. Like a cold like soup? An, yeah, like your summer soup. I don't have any. I'm off summer the top cereals of my head. soup. That's it. Like an uh, like a summer squash or something. Yeah. That's not yeah. gonna be. You good. heard it here on Married yeah. After Dark. Cereal is a soup. And there's, so there's, <laughs> a a thing, there's a thing called summer soups. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> there's seasonal soups? Yes. There okay. definitely is. Whatever. Oh I don't have much of a So, <laughs> if you had the world's attention for oh 30 no. seconds, what would you say? Uh, you have to start on this one. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, it's tough. I honestly think I would say, like, the corniest knock-knock joke, just because I feel like that would make like little kids happy but then would like make all the adults like who is this idiot talking on TV? Right. I feel like I'd want to do like a riddle, but I'm I wouldn't not sure. I'm not good at riddles. So mm. I I need somebody to help me yeah. in those oh, 30 you seconds. Could, you could know the answer to the riddle. Oh, you could just true. make America think about it. Mm. Yeah. Right, right, right. Mm. All right. So one more question. Three people you would want to <laughs> eat dinner with, living or dead? Mm. Oh my god. I could do this one easy. Jesus would be good. That'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number one. Okay, you Please go. don't yeah, okay. so you go first. I guess I'll do one from like every category. So I'd love to talk to Frank Lloyd Wright as an architect. Okay. Just because okay. he's definitely one like an architect that's inspired me and like arguably the greatest of all time. So like love to talk to him. Um as like a movie star or something? <laughs> I don't know. Probably, oh probably Dean Martin for uh, okay, okay, for a little bit of that, and then hmm, the third one. Do you have any why he's thinking? I would want to definitely sit down with Zoe Deschanel okay. for like. Nice. I feel like she'd be so funny. <laughs> She's hilarious. Oh, I want dead ones. I thought. We, oh, I forgot. No, you can do dead or anyone. Alive. Yeah. I'd want, mm. like, Zoe Deschanel and, like, George Washington together mm. in the same room. I was thinking George Washington and, like, Mia Hamm. Right. <laughs> oh, my so God. Just, mm. like, two completely different aspects. Yeah, and then maybe, like, the yodeling kid. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you. Oh my just, God. like, I'm all for that kid. I think yeah. that, w that would be my, like, trifecta, <laughs> like, perfect mm. I'm so happy you said that. <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah. and I'd probably go with my last is like if living Francesco Totti, even though I don't speak fluent Italian, I would definitely try to have a conversation with him. All right, we have to take a short break, but stay tuned. Because up next, we compete against our guests in a game we like to call Level Up, Stack Up. Stay tuned, guys. There are 16 million children struggling with hunger in America. That's one in five daughters, sons, neighbors, and classmates who don't know where their next meal is coming from. Yet billions of pounds of good food go to waste every year. It's time we do something about it. Feeding America is a nationwide network of food banks that helps provide meals to millions of kids and families in need. Visit feedingamerica.org to help them feed even more. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. You've messed up your son's haircut. Mom? Do you A, try to fix it? Like it never happened. B, work with what you got? Or C, show solidarity? Thank you, baby. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. This is the story of a boy who is very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where nothing could get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. It made him feel uncomfortable. One day, he found out he had something called autism. His family got him help. And slowly, he learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at autismspeaks.org. They said I have troll teeth. That my voice sounded like a possessed baby doll. That no one would ever love someone as stupid as me. That I was fat. Ugly. Disgusting. 
The effect of bullying is potent. We will no longer be the silent majority. Now, when you see online bullying, there's something you can do about it. We're gonna take action with the eye. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness, and so are you. Welcome back. Today, Ash and I will be challenging our guests to a game we like to call Level Up Stack Up. All right, so here's how it goes. First, each team is going to get enough cups to create a pyramid with three cups as the base. Second round, four cups as the base. Third round, five cups as the base. Each stack of cups is one round. First team to successfully stack the pyramid and then take it down gets a point. That's how it's going to go. It's going to be me versus Antonio and then Maddie versus Aaron. And, <laughs> and the fifth, uh, the third round with the five cups, there's going to be a little something extra we're adding, but we'll tell you that when we get there. Oh. Okay, perfect. <laughs> All right, so you ready? I'll wait. Okay, get your cups ready, guys. Oh my God, I'm kind of nervous. All right. Oh, my sleeve is full. In three, two, one, go. Good start. Good <laughs> start. <laughs> perfect. We love this. Oh. Oh. That was good. I didn't complete oh, no. it, so that goes to that. Antonio. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna, okay. So now it's Aaron so and Maddie's turn. Call me in when I'm ready. Am I doing these ones? Yep, we're doing the Let's same go. one. So Throwing everybody's down, doing the bro. same. Oh my God, probably. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so Zachers, are you ready? I guess so. Yeah. Ready? Oh wait, I'm not supposed to touch them. Oh, okay. Ready? All right. Set, go. Oh God. Why are we getting annihilated at our own game? Maddie <laughs> <laughs> just won that round. <laughs> all right, Good job, Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, okay. Because they're architects or majors. Yeah, yeah so we, we build Can't things. relate. Okay, here we go. No, we don't. <laughs> okay, three. This is a four cup base? Okay. Yes. Two, <laughs> one, go. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have two? It's okay. Perfect. Let's go! Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Okay, you guys got this. Remember, four cups as the base. Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Set. Go. Erin, what are you What's doing over there? Oh my God. <laughs> go. It wouldn't. Look, this is <laughs> what I <laughs> to the third round with five cups as the base. So what we're going to do is it's going to be both teammates together, but they can <laughs> each only use one hand. Oh, yeah. is it? Oh, God. So we're okay. going to, we can put these on the ground, okay? <laughs> so you can move your other cups right. to the ground if you want, Wait, but this one has five cups as the base. The it doesn't um, whatever matter. Hand, whatever just hand, just one hand. hand you want. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah. All right, Aaron. Okay. So. Okay, you can okay if you so want five to. as the base. All right. All right. Okay. Let's get it. Okay. Ready. Set. Go. Okay, I got one. Okay. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Do here we, have we to go. Unstack them. Yep. Yeah. They're going fast. Hurry. Up. Oh. oh, that was bad. <laughs> Definitely. All right, awesome. You saw. I guess they they won. You guys yeah, won. You guys won. Here's a solid like two to one. <laughs> one. <laughs> I feel like a big game. All right. Just so saying, before Aaron goes, Aaron was giving him a lot of hype for this game, saying she was really good, and she was like, <laughs> I totally swear good. for the team. So. All right. So thank you guys for joining us on our very first episode of Marywood After Dark. <laughs> Be sure to like TV Marywood on Facebook and follow Marywood After Dark on Twitter. We would also like to thank Maddie and Antonio for being amazing guests on our first show. It was really great. So thank, thank you guys you for guys. watching. See you next time. Yeah. Woo. Stay safe <laughs> after dark. <laughs> yeah. Good job. You guys did good. Exactly. Yeah. That was exactly. cool. Like a build and destroy. Thing. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so anyways. So welcome, welcome to the bloopers. Welcome to this. <laughs> Everyone go march! Well, uh, Aaron can't speak! Never mind! <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs>